So again, within the motors, the same thing. Uh, the big gear is plastic. The spent screw uh, screw gear on the s the armature, it's gonna be the shaft actually. It's gonna be metal, so that eventually will wear out as well. So motor have a five minute lifespan. It's not gonna last forever. But of course, with the design and the tension, that's gonna last the lifespan of the vehicle. Why is yellow? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
then again, now there's also you know molded uh, markings onto the plastic parts as well. So of course we can mold our logos onto a plastic because we make the part. Versus if you look at dormants on Hava, it will have nothing. Or you have like Mabuchi, which is just a motor manufacturer that sells it to these regulator standard companies. Okay, so just a quick recap. So of course we always use the highest quality components and we'll make sure that any component that has any actual value that has a performance of durability of part, we will have it in our design as well. <coughs> Anti-vibration washers, uh, <coughs> rubber dampers, you know, the temperature control switch, uh, heat dissipating holes, anything that's going to help make our product better, we will copy that design and we'll put it into our of course, our motor is not is brand new, not rebuilt, and then we just as I showed before the benchmark test. We'll test everything to make sure that it matches the OE performance. And of course, whenever OE has the anti pinch function, we'll also have it as well. Does Dorman? Uh, Dorman, they are moving in this direction. I think everyone has to. Yeah. Uh, you probably talk about when we just launched a product. We were actually the first one the anti pinch. And then, of course, you know, everyone see us, a newcomer has it, and they're all scrambled trying to get it as well. Okay. And nowadays, you can't get away with it, especially after 2010, essentially all the popular vehicles, they all come with it. Um, but the mo what we demand for these type of product is wear and tear. So it's going to be like a vehicle that's going to be past 8 years old. That I think more is like 8 to 12, even older, depending on exactly your segment is. So we don't really have uh, a lot of latest, because the latest, if something breaks, you can go back to your OE for sure. warranty. So, but then that next phase, essentially, that we're planning on is going to be mostly going to have this type of computerized functions, because we simply have to, or else it's not going to be OE equipment. Okay, so of course we run durability tests. We also have 100% power on tests at factory. So this is the same actually with our cooling fan blower assembly. Everything is going to be powered on. And for the when the regulators, we don't just power on the motor. We actually assemble the whole assembly and put it onto a jig and we actually power on to make sure that the assembly is going to run through the whole length of the track. Then we box it. Okay. And as you've seen in the previous pictures, we also tested all the products on actual North American car doors. Right? So it's not like I know a factory is overseas. It's not like, okay, let's try Corolla on China. No, we can't be 100% certain that they're going to be exactly the same. So, of course, we test everything, you know, stateside before releasing the product. Okay. And here are just some maybe common questions. So, I'll just show you the description portion of the product label. You see abbreviations. So FR goes front right, FL goes front left, uh, R goes rear right, RL goes rear left. So from that. What about the rear door? Uh, rear. Yeah, rear. Rear right. Rear oh, left. The, the oh, yeah. You got For that, right? those right now, we don't have. Okay, so anything that's got automatic tailgate window, we, we, we don't have right now? No. Okay. Yeah, okay. But of course, you know, if you have a significant defense, please let us know. No. And if we see that there is significant demand, then we'll like sell them. Well, those are <laughs> that's an old yeah, that's an older part. application, though. That they don't even do those anymore. I don't know, maybe they don't. I don't know. Yeah, everything's the the yeah. lift gate. Yeah. Okay. So it really depends on the demand we see from our marketplace, besides our own research. Okay. So of course, if you have anything where you say, "Oh, I got a whole bunch of demand for these," it could be you know this region that we didn't know about, like oh, north. Less, they have a whole bunch of this type of vehicle that always built here. So of course, with any kind of feedback, you know, we can evaluate the best. Yeah, so like the newer, they probably head in that direction, but like the newer Tundras, that back window rolls down in the truck, and in like the Chevrolets, the window opens up electrically, so you mm -hmm. guys are maybe heading that direction. I'm sure those are going to fail too. They don't right. use The rear part. slider? Yeah, the rear slider, and then the, I think on the Tundra, the whole window goes down. Mm -hmm. They do. Yeah, so it's all how often it's used. So, for example, yeah, yeah. right yeah. now we have a four doors, right? The front left passenger side gets used. Way, way higher 
demand than all the other doors. Right. The rear is much, much less. Unless you have kids back there. <laughs> <laughs> Lock them. So yeah. number Lock one thing right. I say is just the OE design. Yeah. So the OE's bad design is going to fail, you're going to get demand. Second is just use, how much use it gets. Do it for selective applications, uh, very little. So I guess the easiest way to go about it is to assume that we don't have it, I guess. Sure. Yeah.